on other tapes, I've shown how I will take a balloon, and as I inflate it, I will stretch my hand down the balloon, feeling for impurities. With the Winnie dog, when I reach the end of the brown like that, when the end reaches the edge of my palm and I feel it there, I stop, tie it, so that you have a little more than four fingers, just about five fingers of uninflated. Okay? Now, however you want to do it, that's up to you. I know this is the clown no-no, sucking a bubble up on the end of the balloon, but it's the easiest and fastest way I know to do the job. And when you're about getting more balloons done in less time, that's what you'll want, is speed. I pop that bubble up, and then I take and wrap the brown around the black about three times, and then I run it back through for a square knot, pulling it tight. Taking the scissors, well, you don't have to at this point. For speed's sake, don't cut it off yet. Go ahead and inflate the black a little bit to make a set of ears for the weenie dog. Tying that off, squeezing a little bit out to make it pliable, about a wide four-finger spread, matched for size, and then square knot that end. Once you've done that, you can pop that off, saving the ears, and then going down to the uh, junction of the brown and black where they're tied together and close to the knot but not on the knot, snip those off so that you have a little nose on the end of the balloon. Now, at this point, I'll go out about a good four-finger spread wide like so and twist off because I like to have it a long snout on the weenie dog. Taking this balloon, I, this bubble, I push it through the ears, popping it up to the top, pulling the nozzle and cut in down inside while spreading the ears to tuck them in. Well, no, I messed up. Go around once. Otherwise, your, your brown balloon will not lock down. You need to spin it to lock it down and then push the ends in. Looking at the end of your balloon, find out where your nose turns up, if it turns up, and a lot of times it will turn up. When you get it to turn up, you take the balloon, scrunch and roll it a time or two like so to give it the upturned nose so that you have the brow and yet the nose. Going out, doing the uh, typical weenie dog that everybody does, being sure that your legs, front and back, are matched for size, turning it like so. To make your legs shorter, thereby getting a longer body, your neck shorter, getting a longer body. Uh, I just did this quickly so that you could see what I do. Be sharpie to taste, and there you have a quick two balloon Winnie dog that's uh, not that much more difficult than the one one. But 
you have to twist uh, a small bubble up on the lobe of one of the hearts. Trapping that in your between your uh, index finger and, and middle finger, go to the second heart, do the same thing. And you can size it by undoing and redoing. You can make it smaller, but I've not ever been able to <laughs> make it larger by pushing. So when you want to size it down, you can open it up a little bit and then you have to be quick about it though because once you get to the point where the bubble is, it's the size you need it. And see, that's a little too small for the one, one to the other. So, okay, once you've got, now it's still too small. And I call this one of my quick and easy ones. It usually is really honest. <laughs> I usually don't have this much trouble catching this thing. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And once you've got these two bubbles twisted up on the lobes of your heart, you twist those two bubbles together. Once you've twisted them together, take them around to the other side and twist them once again. Do the same with the other two hearts. Then taking the four small bubbles together at one time, holding them in your hand, you will spin, and I say that, it really is easier than this when I'm doing it out there, it really is. There we go. Once you've got all four of them in your hand, you twist the hearts around several times, locking them together. Once you've done that, you take two nozzles of hearts, you tie them together, pull them as tight as you want. I usually pull them very tight. And then you take the other two and work them in a little bit, pulling them tight and crossing them over. Now, you can, if you wish, take one underneath the other, thereby having all four of them joined together as you tie the last one. Now, you don't need to clean your knots up off of this one. You can tuck them in. Uh, or you can clean them up if you want. Now you take your 260, which you've left uninflated on one end, and inflated it all but about a finger and a half to two fingers, trapping your nozzle in so that it won't inflate out. Pinch a bubble off and twist so that you have a small bubble on top of that. This you will take and place in the very top of this heart flower in between all four of the little bubbles so that it has like a little stem sticking up through it. Is that the pistol or the stamen? I don't know. It doesn't much matter. Uh, now you come down to the other end, twist off, and I go around with one of the nozzles and tie the green balloon to the center of the of the uh, flower so that it won't go away. Now, what I do at this point is I take the uh, uninflated portion, and you have to be careful because it will inflate quickly, and I press it into the hollow of my leg so that I can take and fold up a fold twist like I do on the rose and the other balloons or other videos, pull it out just a little bit, do the next fold twist, pull it out a little more, do the last fold twist. Now you have, you'll want to take your uh, main body of the, of the uh, stem around one of the bubbles so that it helps seal it down. Now you'll be able to, well, roll your knot downward. This one's a little bit tight, but you'll be able to fold over, make yourself a, a pedal to the stem like so. Bend it up a little bit. Now you've got a four heart, five balloon flower. Different than others I've seen much. Hope you like it. Number eight on the list is uh, not really a complete balloon, but how to dress up one of the ones we've already done. We're going to put eyes on the weenie dog. If you'll take and blow a small bubble, about a two-finger bubble, into a 260 and tie it off, 
the end doesn't matter, we're going to get rid of all that anyway. Then you go down and you go about a finger beyond your two finger bubble, tie a knot in your 260 so that you have room between the two. Taking your scissors, trim off past the knot, but as close as you can to the knot off of each end. Now what you do is you squeeze the air evenly end to end and that's not easy, believe me, because it wants to jump back and forth. So you have to squeeze a little and twist and try and get them both to be about the same size. Now you have to be careful because even though they may appear to be the same size, one may be a little softer than the other and the other may be a little harder. The harder one will actually have more air so that when you do this, the eye will bulge and seem to be larger. They have to be about the same softness, softness. So that's why I squeezed it back and forth a few times to stretch the, bu the balloon so that the bubble would be soft on each end. Now taking this, what you see now is you have a twisted place between the two bubbles, okay? This you'll take to the back of the dog's head, like so, stretching tightly. Can you see that camera? Okay. Stretching tightly, bringing it around to the front. Now you'll take these two bubbles and just spin them around each other and set them back in. There you have a cute little set of eyes for the puppy. Now I usually take my black Sharpie and draw very large pupils. Also underneath the chin, okay, I will draw the dog's smile and then put some little whisker marks on each side, giving him character.